essential for synchronicity to happen. I discovered that my hand is on the joystick of my life, whether I realize it or not. So I might as well pay attention because you're steering the ship. We all are. And so it's important. That's where intention comes in because that merely says like you have an intention, you're just not voicing it. And your intention can be pretty negative. You don't even realize it. You're kind of orchestrating and steering yourself through this maze every moment. So for synchronicity is a way of rhythmically showing you like there's this dance to what you're doing and the choices you're making. And it's big element of that clearly seems to be humor. That there is a sense of playfulness to synchronicity and absurdity and fun that clearly is tied into some kind of basic nature of the universe, the cosmic joke. And that honestly is what makes synchronicity so wonderful and so yummy is that because it's kind of irreverent in a way. It pops up everywhere all of a sudden in conversation and books and you see it in a movie. You're like, what? You know, I never, that would have just been gibberish. And in a way, that's what synchronicity is. It's, it's something that you're putting back out there and, and it, that doesn't make it nullified. It just is part of the process of how we perceive things we're, is being revealed to us. Like we're always, we're always a part of what we see. We're always, what I think of is, is co-creating it. So when you start to notice synchronicity, it's just reconnecting with that original intention because there are forces in this realm that distract you from it. So it's really abnormal to not, something has gone wrong if, if you haven't, if you don't notice it. If you don't feel connected, something is wrong. Synchronicity um, tends to bring about people into your life they're almost like exactly the people that you needed at that moment. You might not have known that. They might not have you might not have pictured that person in your mind as that person, but then, you know, when they when they show up, you're like, wow, that's that person saved my life or that person showed me a whole new way of being or I wouldn't have, you know, figured out my my uh, healing practice if it wasn't for that person in my art. I try to be aware of, of synchronicities as they happen and I try to use social media to put them back out there and talk, talk about them because I found that the more you put it out there, the more it amplifies in your life. The act of talking about synchronicity seems to spin off more synchronicities. As humanity, we uh, separate ourselves from nature in the words of Charles Eisenstein, an author. It started with the Stone Age when we made a fire and that was the first separation from the darkness. And then from there, moving on through agriculture and industry and computer revolution. And, uh, and it's a game of separation where we think that that separation will actually take us to more leisure and more happiness when in fact we feel more alone and more separate. And I saw how things happen when you allow them to happen, how things happen when you lose a certain level of trust and letting go, but still doing your work in that. And I feel like that my job is the will portion of it. So if I put in the time, that's my choice, that's my energy, that feels very terrestrial. It's like, do I carve out the time? Do I put in the time? Do I put my hands on the keys and do this? Then there's a certain other orchestration behind that that's very much beyond me that can work through me, assuming that A, I get out of the way, and B, I put in the time.